Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create labels in Access and labels in Microsoft Word. So first of all, I've opened the database and I've got a table called Address Details, which has just got a list of addresses. Now, if I close that, in Access you've got a feature, a report that you can create uh, where it generates labels based on whichever table you want it to look at so in this case this table so I've got that one selected and then I go to the create tab and in the reports area you can see their labels I'll click that and then what it'll give me is an option to create a label that's preset or create one of my own so I am going to use this top one in fact I'm going to use that one but if I look at customize for a second, you can click on new and then you've got all of this functionality to create a label for yourself. Now, in my and then name that label. Now, in my experience, one of the issues you've got, if you buy labels, pre-printed -pre labels or labels that you pull off of the sticky backed, sometimes it's quite hard if you don't get set, set options like these, preset options. These are Avery and these are all the other types you can get. So if you go to a shop that's um, not listing these and they've got their own make, it's quite hard to determine what size they are. So you might want to just recreate a copy of that using customize and then you can achieve your aim. But I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to go next. It tells me what the font and I can change all of this if I, all of this if I don't want. I'm going to go next again. And now I see the fields from my table, from this table. And it's a case of just populating these across onto this area on the right, which is a representation of the label. So if I just click on that one, I need a space. It drops straight down to the next field. So I pulled that one in without a space. So I just need to do a space in between that and go back up. And now I want to come down to another line, address, another line, city, another line. I'm not bothered about county, actually. Let's see if I'll get county. See, county might not fit. So if I put that on and then just come down another line and then do the postcode, let's see what that looks like. So sometimes you've got too much information in there. Let's have a look. I'm not really bothered about sorting, so we can give it labels. Labels, address, details is fine, and then just finish. And it does fit because I picked one that was big enough. So this is a list of the labels. If I go through, you've got all the labels. Mr. Don Brown is the last record. There's a blank space there. So if I close these labels and add a new record in my table, so let's say 16, Mrs. Kath Green, 25 Red Road, Bradford, West Yorkshire, BD two two RT and then just make up a phone number zero one two seven four whatever and then today's date so I've added a new record that will now be picked up in the labels if I close that so Kath Green open up the labels go to print preview and then it should be on the last sheet and there you go miss kath green 25 red road now as you add or delete records in that table this label this report will reflect that as it does in all access reports reflects the changes in the tables and queries so that's now just set if i close that now the other way of doing this would be to send this into word and use words functionality to create labels so in this option you've got to go external data and then you've got word merge you click on that you've got two options here link your data to an existing word document or create a new one i'm going to do this new one okay to that that should open up word now once word opens if i bring word onto the screen i'll just make it full screen so you can see it's got this pane on the right with the wizard options for you to select and i want labels as i said already labels and then you've got these arrows down the bottom start um, moving through so starting the document 
so we've got label options here and again you get the same sort of list coming up where you can select different sort of labels so this is if I go to details on that let's have a look so you've got three across six down I'm gonna try and get this to fit but again you might have to play around with this if you're not quite sure there is quite a lot of different labels listed here and again you've got this drop down with all the other types that you might need and the ability to create a new label if the list your your particular labels that you've purchased is not in that list you can create your own but let's just go for this one let's see what happens clicking OK all right so it's looking all right it looks quite big now what you've got at the top there if I go to edit recipient list that's the list that's come from access so I've already got the details and I want the address block to go in there which is like that that'll do okay if you don't want to put the address block in you can come in and do individual merge fields like I did earlier now the big difference with this one is you have to update labels so update labels and then all of this moves along so you get address block address block coming all the way through this and then to preview that you click on preview and then you get all of these so miss kath green is the last person now i'm going to save this I'm just going to save this document and um, add a new record to the database so if i save that i'll just leave it in documents and i'll call it main labels labels save and then i'll close that down close that down and then go back to access and open that again and add another person so this is our record number 17 so we'll go for mr brian jones on black street leads and west yorkshire and i won't bother with a postcode for that one i'll just get rid of that apostrophe that i hit there so i've got a new record i'll close that go back into word open up that file again main labels it's asking me do i want to go and update it from the table address details yes i do and then when i come down i've got mr brian jones one black street leads appearing on my label list so it's two separate ways of creating labels doing it in access and having a report with labels which will grow and shrink as you add and remove records and the second way is to do it into word and again as the database grows or shrinks in terms of addresses the labels will change as well to reflect that movement in the access database so hopefully that was of use to you but that's all i want to cover in this little session thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next one